book going to class. And you're watching the Penn State Football Story. I've been go to my 1010 Math 111 class in Sackett. So, hey, got to get ready for some equations, some math going on here. It's kind of tough, but I'm ready today. It's kind of early in the morning, but hey, I'm always prepared, just like on the field. I'm prepared in class. So. Sets up long and deep. Dion Butler makes the catch at the Iowa 35. Out of bounds at the 34. The first down to win it in We definitely joke with each other. A lot of guys have classes together, and you know, you compare your grades just like you compare your play on the field. So. You know, you want to be successful, so uh, you definitely stay on each other about schoolwork. You got to go about it almost like football. You have to, you know, you got to prepare for things. You have to be efficient. You got to, you know, got to turn things in on time. It's not that bad when you do the things the right way. I beat my teacher to class today. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Yeah, you got to be, you got to be at least 15 minutes early for everything. It's pretty much a general rule. That definitely is Joe time, you know. On time is definitely 15 minutes early. You can be late 10 minutes early. So, you know, that carries over to little stuff like this in class and school work. Well, right now I'm outside the hub. I'm in between classes right now, so I'm about to go get a quick bite to eat. Academics mean a whole lot. I think Joe probably stresses that more than just about anything else in the program. He always wants to stress to make sure that we're always making sure that we stay on top of our academics, that we put our best foot forward in the classroom and um, always try to give our best effort, you know what I'm saying, in uh, all of our academic endeavors. We're heading down Pollock Road here, going from the hub to uh, Willard Building, where I have a uh, Econ 433 class. It's uh, international trade. But since what you have in abundance are factors of production that cannot be exported, then what you do is you use those factors to produce goods, and so what kind of trade are you going to have? You're going to indirectly be exporting the services of the skilled workers in the U.S. and importing the services of the unskilled workers from China. When I do try to get a job after football, I'll be able to get a good one. I meant a lot when I was probably in high school and I got hurt on some freaky type stuff and just like a season in the injury like that. You know, you had to concentrate on school at that point and it was like, before you know it, it was like yesterday I was playing football and today I'm not. So it was, it was a pretty big thing. Here comes the bus, so let's see if we can get on it. Some of us have classes with other people, so you know, everybody's out to help each other. So it's never like, uh, I'm better than you, so pick it up. Like, it's more of like, if you need help, like, we can get help if somebody's doing bad. But. Oh, my. <laughs> a good student. He's a really good student. Really good. nice person, too. It's English 202D. Probably like go in there. It's like a discussion type thing. Most times, like a lecture. Um, we'll start off in like a discussion, like a little group thing. Don't go into like the lecture, or whatever today's lecture is about. So this is useful. It's going to you know really help me in the future. 